Hey guys, Erwin here with Building 8 Media. Just wanted to go through this week and talk about our short film that Frank and I are working on. I don't know if we told you this, but we are working on our first short film together. Um, it's a sci-fi short, it's gonna be pretty awesome, um, but there's so much so much work that's involved with it. And I just figured I'd take a quick minute and put together a video and talk about it. But it's so nice outside, I really don't wanna just sit here. So why don't we go outside and we'll talk about it out there. That's better. Now we're outside enjoying the day and actually behind me is one of the places that we were thinking of having our short film at but we decided not to so i'll show you another location we wanted to go to but for now um I'm, frank's not with me by the way frank is actually in ireland enjoying his, his uh time out there and he's with his dad all right it's frank from uh, building eight media just wanted to say i've been watching a lot of the stuff that uh Erwin and josh and uh, mitch have been working on for our short film i'm still in ireland I'm gonna be leaving uh, Dublin in the next few minutes. This is actually the chapel, is it? But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm really looking forward to working on the short film, looking uh, at a lot of the stuff that uh, they've been working on and things that we've been going over for different scenes and really excited about this. It's about time Building 8 puts out something like this. Uh, we gotta keep going with it, keep moving forward. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the States shortly. Yeah, he's out there with his dad, having fun, enjoying Ireland. So that's pretty awesome, but I just wanted to try and get something together and do this video and show you guys uh, what we've been up to. So I actually wrote the film last year, and it's sci-fi, which is kind of weird. I don't consider myself a sci-fi person at all, but I figured, I don't know, I just started writing, and, and whatever I wrote ended up being sci-fi, it had that kind of a feel to it, so that is what it is. But we needed a couple of different spots, some kind of a creepy locations, more like a warehouse type feel, so that's why Mitch and I were looking in Amsterdam for some crazy, like old school looking uh, factories and things like that, which there's a lot of, so. We got, we got really fortunate with that. So anyways, this location here is, I'm gonna try and get us a, get you guys to have a better look because it's way overexposed. But the location was, huh. but the location was calling for a warehouse. So I really, I thought this this warehouse, I'm pretty sure, is abandoned. But I think that there's a light on inside, so who knows. Uh, but I really wanted to have this location be, because really it's just a couple of, the, a car is gonna be pulling up to the warehouse and we just need to have something cool looking for the background. And then once the, pre, the people go, the actors go into the building, then we're, we're just gonna make it so there's someplace else, like a different location. But we needed something nice and cool uh, on the outside. And this is what I wanted. I thought this looked really cool, uh, but I don't know if this is still being at, used anymore or not or what, so I'm probably just gonna get in trouble just standing here filming this, but anyway, so we did have another place in mind, so let's go to the other location and you can check it out real quick. This is the this is the second location we were going to pick. Uh, we I like this one a lot. It's got some cool carports and things like that. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's on a really busy road. There's just cars constantly going through and through and through, and I don't really like that. So uh, we decided not to use it here. But I did really like it though. It's got everything I wanted. It's just it's in a busy area. So on to the third location and the one we actually picked. Okay, so this is the third location. This is definitely the shadiest place of, of all the ones that we picked. Definitely one of those enter at your own risk type places. Um, but it was perfect for what we wanted to do. And I think we can get away with, you know, getting the shots together that we need, being able to film here without any trouble. Um, we can make it real quick, real quick, but it's got a nice big open area for the parking lot. It has a spot where you can go completely around the back, and uh, and it's it's awesome. But like I said, it's super shady and run down. It used to be like an old Grand Union. There used to be a Captain Video here, um, but uh, those were that was back in the day, and now it's just it's just falling apart. So I figure. Why not, right? I think this will be a good spot for it. But anyway, so this is what I wanted to show you guys, and I really wanted to show you guys some of the stuff we were working on with location scouting. Oh, I forgot. This, uh, Mitch and I came here, and he was flying his drone, 
and he actually lost control of it. It was, I think it was, I think it was a defect within the drone, or so he says. But he lost control of it, ended up falling on the roof of this place. He ended up going up and grabbing it somehow, and he, he got it back. But it was uh, pretty interesting. It was the first time I saw a drone in action, which was last summer. Guys, that's all I have for you. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video, and make sure to check out our short film Wednesdays. We do that, we do that every Wednesday at 10 o'clock to do our short film review um, live on YouTube, so make sure you check that out. Till next time, guys, I'll see you later.